you started working you bought a car you built houses and now you tell me that your mother or your father has lost your respect you stupid honor is a choice respect is reciprocal who said it you have to earn respect a man said it not the bible for honor is a ritual whether your father or mother is a drunk you must honor hey, it's not for your mother or father it's for you there is a covenant between your father your mother and God even your mother doesn't know it even your father does not know it hear me if your father is dead here there's a prayer I'll pray for you if your mother is dead here there's a prayer I'll pray for you if they are alive there are certain things I'll tell you to go and do hey I don't care you must testify your testimony must shake the world Yes. Sit down. But if you are alive and your mother and father are still alive, oh praise God. See, we know that there is God. Abi, we know that He's our heavenly Father, and so He made our our biological fathers and made our biological mothers uh, and gave us to them and said that it was by their semen. Mm, and by their womb we will taste what is called earth for you have you were in a place before your soul was in a place before your spirit was in a place before but you could only do certain things and couldn't do other things and so for you to come to earth a woman's womb was needed and a man's semen was needed that is not just what we call intercourse no something was needed to come so we come to the second phase that we have physical parents and these people can kill you or make you hmm. and the people don't even know that they can kill you or make you are you hearing me now Please hear me. There are reasons in the Bible where a man will get up and go and meet his father and say, Bless me. There's a reason. That means he has tasted something. And what he tasted was not good. The father is a drunk, the father is a womanizer. Tell God not to show you the weakness of your father. It's a setup. Hmm. Because if you know it and can't honor him again, you are finished. Better you don't know it. Hmm. Follow me. So now, your mother does not deserve your respect. Your father no longer deserves your respect. Because now you are using big jeep. You have cleaned up. You went to Oral Robert University. Oklahoma University. You went to California University. And so you have bagged different kind of, of documents. And PhDs. And now you think that that woman. Huh, you now say he's smelling. <clears throat> see, you're smelling. <clears throat> he was smelling because you peed on her when you were a baby. Carlo <clears throat> Micaiah. She's smelling because you were the one who was peeing on her. When you pulled, she used her clothes to wipe you. There was no tissue that time. Listen, when mucus was coming out from your nose, she didn't need wrapper. She didn't need tissue. She used her mouth to suck it. She cut meat and gave it to you to eat, and you ate it. And so now you got up and you think that she no longer deserves your respect. Say, he lost my respect. 
who lost your respect? He said, my father lost my respect. He said, what he did to my mother, what he did to my mother, I will never forgive him. Listen to me. It is not because they did right. That's why you should respect them. <laughs> it's that you chose to respect them. For your sake. Your father and mother, you know who you should fear the most? Your mother. Do you know why? Because they can't handle pain. All over the world, mothers can't handle pain. Fathers can. Before the mother will know anything, he don't release what he won't release. <laughs> they act to you as their feeling. That is why you must consistently pray for your parents because the devil can use them. Let me tell you something. If I give you talk, hallelujah, did you hear her? Eh? Because there is something inside this microphone that amplifies voice, it doesn't matter who says it. If you use it, your voice will be heard. That is how a father and mother is. It's like a knife, it's like a sharp knife. Anybody where you and go caught. If the devil use that father or mother, it not so it go be. If God use that father and mother, it not so it will be. And that is why you must carefully put your father and mother in the hands of God. So when they want to push you, you go say no. I won't be pushed. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? When they want to push you, you go say no. Hey, you don't talk to me like that. We talk to you. No. Hey. No, that's what the devil wants. It's, it's a knife. It's, a, it's sharpening the knife. The mother will not leave you. The mother will always be with you. No matter what you do, it will always be with you. But be a be 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 a boo, be a boo. Like cost, like cost, like now nah, so he could give you. But he no leave you. And that cost, where they cost you so, or that mm, where they do so, he does not know that the thing is becoming spirit. But she's still the one that we go to mile 12 to go and pray. She's still the one that we climb mountain and say, hey, my spiritual, my, my children. But she does not know that majority of the problem is from her. Not because mothers are wicked, no. When you have problem with your, with your, you and your mother and father had problem. Your mother has no right to come and tell you the weakness of your father. Because it will, it will finish you. It will shape you. And, and in that essence, you are destroying your life. Because you see, the reaction you are going to give to your mother or to your father will be based on the information that your, your mother told you. Everybody's mother. Maybe you don't know. Let me let me begin to call everybody here. Let them talk. You will hear something. Why do you tell your children about it? You are wounding their destiny. You are scratching that you are tying them by yourself. You do not know. So when the man change, would the mother come and tell you he has changed? Even if he tells you he has changed, you know what I say? Hey, you change. That's what's going to happen. That is why I tell people when things happen, don't tell a child because that child will not know when to cut it. But when God began to deal with me on certain things, I began to see that I am tying myself. That throughout the scripture, there was never a place where a man went to meet the mother and say, My mother, bless me. No, it was always fathers that blessed people. Even the mother we cajole, the mother may come and do certain things because she knows that she does not carry your blessing, but that the father carries the blessing. So it will pamper you do in such a way, it will manipulate the father, does in such a way that the man can utter something. Oh, your father loved you. Some of you say, but my father is no more. But did he? Did they say he loved you? Oh, happy are you. 
He didn't die with something in his heart holding you. Oh, happy are you? Somebody sucks your mucus. <clears throat> you say his mouth is smelly. He packed your sheet with a bare hand. You peed on that. She's still using that clothes. Then you say it's smelly. That you can't eat her food. Because you came from America. So they gave you something here. Then you are doing like this. You say, what is that? What is this? What is that? I <laughs> a In the forest, she will remove her wrapper and put it so that you can lay down and not sleep so that mosquito will not deal with you. You are old now. You have grown old now. So you are, you think now that you are better. That's why you must pray for them. They can't handle pain. As they do then, so they go throw them. And if there is no overriding force present, a magnet. They that did it will forget. That is why every time you see a prophet, a true prophet, he will first talk to you about your mother before your father. It's when he wants to talk to you about the blessing, your future, he will start talking to you about your father. But he wants to talk to you about now how you are here why you have not died what happened you said the the prayers of your mother have been working but it's the same reason why you are here you've been tied down nothing is happening now life in the hand of the devil or in the hand of god and his mouth was opened immediately and his tongue loosed and he speak and praise God. What you tell your son will eventually come back to you. If you bless your children, it will come back to you. If you curse them, it's coming back to you. And they journeyed from Bethel. And there was but a little way to come to Ephrath. And Rachel traveled. And she had hard labor. Who? Rachel was in labor. And the labor was very hard. And look at what happened. Verse 17. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt have also a son. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass, her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Benoni. But his father called him Benjamin. Benoni means pain. You killed me. So your name shall be pain. Mothers name children by emotion. It's by pain. Throughout the scripture, if he brought sorrow during that time, they say your name is sorrow. If he brought goodness, he say your name is goodness. If he brought this, he say your name is anyhow. That is anyhow. Now it happened that time. If your name, if it is maybe die, maybe death, maybe alive, they call the name maybe. What do you call it? Maybe. Huh? Some people say there's no name. No name. That's the meaning. That's the meaning. The name of there's no name. Are you seeing it? If it doesn't have a name, it doesn't have an identity, and there's no future. Make let all the great men of God gather. And pray for him until they change that name. Nothing happens. He said, Benoni is thy name. Mothers, help us handle your pain rightly. Don't put it on us. Don't put it on us. Don't put it on us. Keep your pain when it was sweet. We're not there. Don't tell us about our fathers. Handle it. We can see. We know what he did is wrong. But handle it. Keep your pain. Life is sweet and, and hot. Come and see what he did. 
Did you also call them? The love making was sweet. Did you tell them? That he took you on, 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 on a tour? Did you tell them? So when he slapped you, you called the girl. You called the boy. But when he blessed you, you didn't call him. Are you? What are you? Your own life is one-sided. I hope you're announcing to everybody. Yesterday, my, your mother, your father, he took me to cloud nine. Did you tell them? Did you tell them? When he now took you to those beings. <laughs> you now called them. 